going on everybody welcome to bliss plays make sure to leave a like let's talk some sports shall we so the rangers won the world series for the first time established in 1961 it's the longest team to not win a world series and it was pretty awesome man it was a good game the game before was more fun because we had 11 points and it was 11 to 7, which is a high scoring baseball game. Uh, this game, they went to the seventh inning with the Rangers having a no hit. We didn't hit a single time. And I was like, oh no, there's no way we can win this. But then we started to get the ball rolling and yeah, came up victorious 5 0. And the Rangers won it in Arizona. We were going against the D-Bags, and they won against Arizona in Arizona. So they didn't get the home win, but it's okay because they were 11-0 and in this postseason on the road, which is just astounding. That means they're, they feed into the crowd, into the hate, and they pulled it off. They won. So... That's enough for baseball. It was just cool to see because my dad's a longtime Rangers fan. And I know that uh, he's always wanted to see them win since he was a kid. And I was there to witness it with him. Now, on to baseball. The Dallas Mavericks, my second team in the West, are, are my second team because they're in the West. My first team's in the East. Um are undefeated they're 4-0 doing amazing and tomorrow they go against uh the nuggets for the first in season tournament i don't know how to explain the in season tournament but it's just uh east versus east and then west versus west and then somehow there's going to be a finals i think now the heat aren't too worried about that the heat my team that's my first team should be worried about winning, okay? There's no reason at all that that we should be one and four. It's just the honeymoon phase, I guess, after coming off of a finals and losing that. It might have deplenished our uh, hopes and then having to face the off season, thinking that we're gonna get Dame the whole time and then just to lose them to our rivals. But we were supposed to win that game last night. We were up the entire time and then lost. It was a sad loss, but I'll continue to preach. This isn't playoff Jimmy, but he needs to add like a, a consistent three pointer to his game or something. Something needs to give. And coach Spo needs to put in Nikola Jovic. If you don't know who that is, you'll find out, okay? And if it's not with the Heat, it's going to be with somebody else. So please, Bo, play him. He should be starting. No reason that our rookie, our first-year rookie should start over our second-year rookie at Power Forward. And no reason he should um, come off the bench for Kevin Love. Kevin Love's time has come and gone. It's time for Nikola Jovic to take control. The lineup should be Kyle Lowry. When healthy, when healthy. Kyle Lowry, Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Nikola Jovic, Bam Adebayo. Off the bench, Caleb Martin as the sixth man. Duncan Robinson, Kevin Love, uh, Josh Richardson, and Thomas Bryant. That should be our team. And we would be decent enough to compete do you see who we have to go against? Okay. And we're the 15th seed. But remember that if we make it to the finals again, remember that. That we were the 15th seed to start off this season. Now for the other teams I talked about in my main channel video. That the Clippers got Harden. And the Clippers lost to the Lakers last night. But that's not because... Harden wasn't there. I feel like the Clippers still could have won that game. It was just because LeBron.
background was going off, crazy off. And, you know, Paul George had a lot of points. I think even Westbrook had a lot of points. And Kawhi was there. It's a pretty awesome game. And then the game before that I watched on TV was OKC Thunder versus uh, the Pelicans. Dude, Zion's going to be fun this year. Please stay healthy. If they stay healthy, I think the Pelicans could end somewhere around 1 through 5. I really do. They're a strong team. CJ McCollum is getting old, but he still is a hooper. I think he had like 24 points. Brandon Ingram, he's awesome. He played uh, with LeBron. And maybe with Kobe, too. No, no, no. That was D'Lo. But, uh, yeah, there's, this Sunday is going to be the Cowboys versus the Eagles, which is a rival game. and It's going to be a fun one to watch. I think we'll be able to beat them. We just destroyed the Rams. They were slight, easy pickings. And I think we have a lot of motivation going into this next game. You know, the Eagles are good. They are. They have Julio Jones, A.J. Brown, uh, Jalen Hurts, Go Dirt, uh, or Goddard, but I call him Joe Dirt. <laughs> and they have Swift, Penny, and Gainwell, three running backs. Now, what I ho wish would have happened at the trade deadline was that we got Zeke, Ezekiel Elliott back, but we didn't. So, we just have to live with that. <laughs> and I hope that the Heat make some free agency plays during, before trade deadline. I hope we pick up either John Wall or Kimball Walker so that we can have a backup point guard. That's just around the same skill level as Kyle Lowry. And then I hope we can pick up Kai Jones. He was from UT. Play with Charlotte. He makes music. And he dunked on Wimbenyama. <laughs> I really want him. I, I think that he would be so awesome to go with uh, Bam. And we would give up, you know, Orlando Robinson. He can go to the G League or Drew Smith. I think there's... A lot to happen this uh, year. The World Cup is going to start for soccer soon. So we can talk about FIFA as well. I'm going to be still talking about UFC. There's just not any good ones that I've seen. There's the Francis Ngannou boxing match versus uh, Tyson Fury. Which he lost in decision. But he went all, round, all the rounds. So I think Francis Ngannou has a good chance of going into that path of boxing to go toe to toe with the heavyweight champion and hold your all your rounds. I thought he won, but you know, boxing officials, they have a lot on the line. <laughs> a lot of bets on the line. This is all part of the Roman circus. I'm distracted. I'm gonna be posting on Blissino once a week and it's gonna be like creative videos or like four times a week. And then out here, it's gonna be daily uploads, whether that's these type of videos for sports or if it's uh, my gaming shorts. So just uh, make sure to subscribe. Please leave a like, uh, all that good stuff. I'm gonna also be posting basketball videos on here. I think I'm gonna post basketball videos on both. And I think I'm gonna post that for Saturday so make sure to tune in leave a like subscribe share to somebody who is not keeping up with sports doesn't know anything about baseball confuse them with my face and uh yeah peace out